Okay. Testing. One, two, two three, three, four. You have to do the testing for yours now. I did. Well, you did it over me. <laughs> I'm substituting for Jeremy in the testing phase. And I am not a substitution. I am in the original D. Yep. For the testing phase. Okay. I have to test it with his voice, too, because your voice is different than his voice. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two testing phases. Possibly. Oof. <laughs> Thank you for helping. Uh-huh. to do the test but it's okay it's okay i've been replaced <laughs> um no i don't think that noah can replace you i mean really how hard is it to go testing one two three eight six seven five three oh nine <laughs> i got it <laughs> oh on the testing i thought you meant like in life in general I was like, oh, no, that's not going to work. I think it's the other way around. I can't replace no one in your life. <laughs> Y'all are both irreplaceable. How about that? Sure. <laughs> Welcome to... We'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. This week on We'll Figure It Out, we're going to pause for one interruption. Yes? and read my cup and he's like this cup is awesome <laughs> the cup with the cow and the blood on it yes that is what I said the cup with the cow and the blood on it and the woodyisms <laughs> alrighty then <laughs> a reference to the podcast that I listened to with Woody Overton uh fellow friend <clears throat> podcast listener she made us some cups for our little friend group that was going to the bash this past weekend and it's it's awesome i love it so anyway back back to our podcast on this week's episode of we'll figure it out we are going to discuss lots of things we're gonna kind of just let you know what's going on in our lives because I don't think we figured out a plan for this week yet. Have we? I tried. Did but you really? Yes. Day one of this week for my plans were already messed up. So, you know. That's how some Mondays go. My day got completely messed up for different reasons. We were hit today at a red light thank goodness it was a minor accident with minor damage and no injuries but it just completely like can you close our door please yeah it just completely closed our door <laughs> and completely it completely closed our door <laughs> all the way <laughs> complete it, <laughs> it just it it didn't really shake me up, but I was just, I could not concentrate the rest of the day because of the, the whole thing. I don't know why. It was really hard. So, I didn't wind up getting a whole lot of hours in today. It's an irritation. A distraction. I think it was just one more thing because I had to go file a claim and it was just like another thing to do and I'm going to have to go submit the the pictures and stuff and it just I felt like it was just okay this is one more thing that's happened you know like eh. something else something else in a series of many unfortunate events mm -hmm. yeah so I was kind of thinking like why did I try to even go bring the kids to the trampoline place today? Because it, it all started with a dead battery in my car this morning. 
It was, oh, yeah. It was my fault. Mm-hmm. So what had happened was, mm -hmm. since I had a dead battery in my car, I took the other car. Mm-hmm. And, and it just, you know. Then Samuel couldn't drive his car, so it probably wouldn't have even happened in that car if he would have drove his car. And it just, yeah. So it's my fault. We had to take the Traverse, so I drove. So it happened. Which things got thrown off. That I mean, it's all your fault. And which, you know, when I went to go pick up Sam this evening after having replaced the battery in my car, mm -hmm. as I back out of the driveway, the light comes on for the rear hatch being open. Oh, somebody didn't close the hatch all the way. Yeah. So think Did that's what killed the battery. Oh, well then <laughs> it's Samuel's fault, I guess. I don't know. Did he have reason to open the hatch? I don't know. Are we, did you ask him? No, I wasn't going to ask him when he got in the car after having his long day at work. Ah, okay. <laughs> he wasn't in the mood for questions. I get it. No. Pardon me. I have to check the text messages. Can you switch the PC to me? I thought I could. <laughs> I did not. I just extended his bedtime. Dude, could you give me a chance? Interruption number three. This podcast brought to you by Patience. With okay. With a side of aggravation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess our whole day was thrown off. I'm not taking the blame. I was just kidding about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then it rained torrentially and you were supposed to go to the store on your way home but it was raining torrentially and there is always a word on this podcast that I cannot pronounce at some point it was raining so hard that there was no way I was going to drive to the store it was no nope 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 as, as I was coming home, some of the streets I was going down had, like, you know, four, four to six inches of water on it already. Oh, really? Up the one to, over there? Yeah, over yeah. that direction and then coming mm -hmm. up this direction. Mm -hmm. But not this direction and this direction. Yeah, well, usual. when it's raining that hard, I don't know why you just don't avoid those back streets and just don't go to Main Street. I would go to Main Street if it was raining that hard. I can't avoid those streets. It's between the main main street and... No, I'd go the other way. What, up to the other direction? Yeah. No, because that road floods. They all flood. <laughs> can't avoid it. Okay, got it. <laughs> Why does the dog have to bark? These dogs are really starting to aggravate me. Mm. No comment. Again, this episode brought to you by patience with a side of aggravation. So what what we we did get the grocery shopping and meal planning done. Or I should say I most I, I did with your help. I did it this week. I'm so proud of myself. I ordered it from Walmart and they delivered it today. <laughs> but I still had to go to Walmart. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> But you didn't have to spend three hours there. Oh my gosh. I guess we need to let this dog gun. Hold on. Interruption number four. Okay. There. I'm back. And I'm still at Walmart for three hours. <laughs> no, you weren't. You didn't have to go for three hours this week. I don't normally go for three hours. I'm usually only in there for about an hour, but it's it's a four hour, one hour. <laughs> what? <laughs> it feels like four. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> I mean, it usually takes, by the time you leave, go to Walmart, do your shopping, and get back, it's close to two hours, at least, if not three. No, I'm usually shopping for about an hour, and it takes me about 45 minutes to check out. Right, exactly. All right, so what do we need to do this week? I know you want to work on the bathroom. What do you want to do on the bathroom? Where are we at on the bathroom? Like, let's let's let the listeners know where we've gotten to. 
Well, I've gotten all the sheetrock off the ceiling, finally. Yay. All the insulation's out. Um, majority of the insulation is out. Okay. Some of it still is up there, kind of hanging around. Uh, I need to actually start earlier on when I get home mm -hmm. on it because I'm going to need to shut power off. So I'm going to need the light coming in through the window. Oh, just to the bathroom, not to the whole house. Well, I don't remember what all is entailed on that circuit. <laughs> okay, because I'm gonna uh, I have to catch up on hours, so um I need electricity to work. Uh, I don't think it affects the power downstairs. Well, that's why I said D are you just doing the bathroom or the whole house? Whichever circuit the bathroom is on. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I have a doctor's appointment at 3.30 tomorrow. So I will once again, I, I need to wake up when you wake up tomorrow so I can get to work for like 6.30. So I can have at least an hour and a half or an hour before I log off to go get tell what to paint. Which is going to be difficult because it's almost 11 o'clock and we're just now recording the podcast. Mm-hmm. And it's Monday, not Sunday. Mm hmm So we're a day behind. And a dollar short. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> you beat me to it. <sighs> so we have all of the sheetrock down. We are down to studs. Right? Pretty much. I mean, there's still little bits of pieces of sheetrock here and there that are up there, but... You know, the as you go along, okay. we can yank them down. Okay. Uh, so now that I have the ceiling opened up all the way, I can now do the electrical in the ceiling. Okay, and you got what you and needed from Home Depot and Walmart today? Well, Walmart was ma battery. mainly for the battery for the car. Okay. Home Depot was for the other, the ceiling box that I need for the light. Because I was going to try to transfer the 50-something-year-old ceiling box that was in there, but that ain't happening. <coughs> yeah, I <laughs> highly suggest that we don't mm -hmm. use those again. Like, we don't have to. Let's upgrade those. I mean, the one in the wall is fine. I can reuse the one in the wall because it's not moving. It's staying put where it is. Other than repositioning where the box is oh, okay. on it. But the, the ceiling one, since we're updating from the heater to a fan, mm -hmm. uh, or vent fan, it doesn't need a a junction box up there. It is the junction box. Oh, okay. But I need the box for the light over the, over the tub and shower. Right, right. So I'm going to need to shut off power so that I can disconnect the original two switches that are in there, pull the old wiring out from the switches through the through the wall to the ceiling to where the, it, the light went to the one junction box over there and then the fan or the, the heater had its own wiring. Mm-hmm. So I need to update the wiring that would be going to now the vent fan because mm -hmm. it's going to be carrying the fan and the other light that's in the fan. So mm -hmm. that's two different circuits. Okay. So I need to replace the wiring going to that. Then I'm going to need to run wiring from that to the light mm -hmm. over the... Mirror, sink area. The, well, from there it's going... that. The vent fan light is going to be attached to the light over the tub. Oh, the tub? Yeah. So all the lights are going to go on at once? No. Oh, okay. So we're going to have the top switch is going to be the light for over the vanity. Okay. The middle switch is going to be the light that's in the vent and the tub. Okay. Then the bottom switch is going to be the vent. What if you need more light 
by the sink and you don't want the shower light, the bathtub light on, and you just want the vent fan light on for a little bit more light. You have to use extra electricity even though you don't want it. So are you saying you want every light individually controlled? I'm just asking a question. <laughs> Is that what you're asking, though? I'm just asking a question. I just didn't know if you thought about that. I'm really kind of messing with you. You see, <laughs> in this bathroom over here in our room, we have four switches. <laughs> we never know which one is which. We have four stinking switches. Yes. I don't want that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> I will allow you to have that veto power. Because in order to mm -hmm. have four switches in there, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to need to remove studs. Well, we're not doing that. So, I agree with your plan. <laughs> Woo! Your mic attacked me. After it attacked me, the setup is not fun. I really dislike this setup. Well, we, we don't have many other options right now. I know. The things we go through to for our listeners to listen to us. Anyway, we love y'all. It's worth it, I promise. Okay, well, anyway, this is where we are with the bathroom. I need to do the electrical up there, get the, all that stuff roughed in, and then we can actually... Oh, wait, no, we can't. We don't have any of the sheetrock. Then mm. we could start putting sheetrock up in the ceiling and seal all that stuff back up. So, did we ever measure the... Oh, this is much better. I, I just have to hold the microphone right in front of me on top of my computer. Okay. So, did we ever measure how much sheetrock we needed? Well, if we were covering full walls, we would need 12 sheets. But we're not covering full walls. That wasn't my question. I said, did we ever measure? Yes, I did. <laughs> this is where I'm trying to go with this. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if we do, the ceiling is going to require two sheets of sheetrock, mm -hmm. four by eight sheetrocks, and still have some left over. Okay. The wall, the west wall, mm -hmm. Sam's wall, mm -hmm. will require two sheets of sheetrock with a little bit left over. Okay. With a smidge left over. The... South wall is going to require basically one and a half sheets. Okay. That's everything. Uh, that's the from the toilet to the shower area. Right. Including above the surround. Yeah. Okay. All right. <coughs> that that's going to be about one and a half sheets, roughly. And then like a half sheet for the rest of the surround. Um. And then a quarter sheet for the wall that's against Noah's. Or yeah. So honestly, I would say we need about ten sheets to be on the safe side. Okay. That'll work. So. So do when when do you want to order that? I guess we need to look at the weather and see when it's not raining, so I can talk to my friend. With the truck. Mm -hmm. Lisa, if you're listening. I know I haven't called you to borrow your truck, and I said I was going to, but we haven't gotten to the point where we needed it yet. Because it took a lot longer to get it down than we thought. Mm -hmm. So we Ten need to get... day weather forecast. So we need to get the sheetrock, and we're going to need to get the OSB for the flooring. So the flooring is going to take two sheets... And there'll, there's going to be leftovers. Okay. All right. So two sheets of o OSB and then 10 sheets or 12 sheets. I'm going. <coughs> 10 <coughs> sheets. Excuse me, 10. All right. 10 sheets of the green sheet rock. <coughs> there <coughs> is 72% chance of rain. <coughs> you can have some of that water, baby, if you need to. Uh -huh. <coughs> Ugh, fiberglass, itchy throat. Did you really melt? <coughs> I did not. Because the mask that we have in there 
were on the floor in fiberglass. You went to Home Depot today. <coughs> I didn't realize the mask was in the fiberglass when I went to Home Depot. We could have, like, done a, a fabric mask that we have, 18,000 of them, and at least helped some. It's too late now. It <laughs> is, and now you're choking. So uh, have some of my water, please. No, I'm going to have some of my water. Fine, have some of your water. You know why? Why? My water has ice. Of course it does. Ice, ice, baby. So, back to the weather. So, the weather for this week is tomorrow, a 72% chance of thunderstorms. Wednesday is a 58% chance of thunderstorms. Then Thursday and Friday and Saturday are like, and Sunday, are like 30-ish percent chances of rain. So, I'm thinking Thursday or Friday would be our best chance, probably. <coughs> oh, yay. I wonder if she has off. She has off every other Friday, so maybe her Friday off is <coughs> this week. I'll have to ask <coughs> her. See which day is best for her to borrow her vehicle. Or See? I wish we had a van. <laughs> I don't know why my brain went to. I wish it was a baller. Chuck Collar. 20 inch blades on the Impala. You know, if we had a big enough, old enough Impala, we could probably fit <laughs> all that try. stuff in there. <laughs> probably could. All right. So, Thursday or Friday, I'll ask Lisa what's the best day for us to pick that up. And then we can. Do sheetrock this weekend, or you work? You're working this weekend. I work this weekend. That's why I was hoping that we could have had some s some stuff going for this week. Cause well, if you get the lights up, I mean, if you get the boxes up and everything, and you have all of that finished, and we have all of the little pieces and parts of sheetrock off, then we'll be completely prepared for that, right? Yeah, I would do still need to also mess with that floor. The mystery floor bump. Oh, that's right. You need to do that too. See, you have so much preparing to do. We're not even ready for sheetrock in OFB yet. I just want to have the ceiling closed. <laughs> oh, good point. I mean, it's raining. It doesn't even matter unless we got a panel van to get the sheetrock in. Because then we could load it underneath the overhang at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever and then we could not sponsored and then we could come and back it up to the garage and it would barely get wet do you want to rent a panel van to be able to do it earlier I don't know I don't know I just it's just frustrating the weather is frustrating the not being able to get to work on it until super late gets frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I could have done the dinner tonight if it hadn't been for the fact of the accident today and being all messed up. And Again, it all falls down to my fault if I wouldn't have had a dead battery in my damn car. No, that's not your fault. <laughs> it was the lady who decided to go when we weren't. <laughs> So, yeah, that would be her fault. So, um, I don't know. I'm tired. I, I can barely think. We do have meals for this week planned. I mean, if you want to get an earlier start tomorrow, we can switch up the taco and the gumbo, and I can just heat up gumbo. I can throw that thing in the Instapot, and I don't even have to worry about it. I can just stick it on there for a few minutes and it should defrost. And then, do we have any leftover rice from any point in the last three days that's edible? Um. I don't even know what they cooked, so. I don't know if there was, th I don't think there was enough left from tonight. I only do one cup oh, these okay. days, so it's not like we have a lot to save. I wonder if we have any in the freezer, do you know? I don't remember seeing any in the freezer, but I okay. haven't checked. 
Well, rice isn't that hard to cook, so <laughs> I could probably get, you know, get Sam or Jonathan to do it. Maybe. Or I'll just do it. Because asking kids to do things. So how about that, that plan for tomorrow so you can get an earlier start? Would that work? I suppose. When are we going to do the taco salad? On another day. Okay. On an, uh, hopefully I'll be able to catch up on some work tomorrow and I won't feel so far behind and then maybe I can do it Thursday or Friday. Okay, because the sooner the better because we've got the greens and the avocado. We don't know how much longer it's going to be able to withstand. Oh, I used one today and it was fine, so... It, I think it'll be okay until Thursday if we have to pull. Or maybe I'll ask Colin to do the tacos on Wednesday. And then we'll just have to figure out something for the day that has no plan. Anymore. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, it's whatever. I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly, I really don't even know what's going to happen with this doctor appointment. So that's another thing we can kind of talk about what's going on. Um, so this past week, what was it Thursday? I think it was Thursday. I went to the doctor just for a regular checkup because I had gotten some blood work done a while back and stuff. Oh, I need to go get my blood work done. Maybe I can try and get that done after my appointment or before it <coughs> but anyway I went for a checkup with her and just you know talked about you know my neck and different options that I have and um, I thought I started having a panic attack because I have claustrophobia and I was in a mask for longer than I'm typically in a mask and it got to the point where I was having like chest pains and I couldn't breathe and I started having cold sweats and um got a little bit of dizzy and so I thought it I mean it didn't feel like my normal panic attacks but I was like it has to be a panic attack because you know just I don't know what else it could be so she checked my heart and I wasn't having a heart attack so she's like your blood pressure is a little low but you're fine so um then I came home and worked Friday and I noticed there were some differences in some things I don't want to go into detail it's kind of personal um, and then Friday when we were getting ready to leave town to go out to Baton Rouge and meet up with my friends I noticed my eyes were kind of yellow on the whites and so I was like hmm let me just message my provider and just let her know what's going on. You know, hey, you know, I know I had that thing yesterday. This has changed and, um, you know, I'm still, I still had like, I think I threw up Friday too while I was working. Um, yeah. And it was just, it was like <coughs> nausea and indigestion and stuff. So apparently she thinks it might be associated with my gallbladder like we haven't had enough gallbladder issues this week this year <sighs> can't believe you have the gall for that I don't know the gall the gall of me to have gallbladder problems I mean but it is the year to get it out if I need to get it out because we've met our out of pocket max so that'll be good um so she told me to lay off the high fat content food which I was like uh we're going out to eat a lot I don't know how to do this well I had a couple Bloody Marys on Friday and the only thing I had eaten that day before that was ramen noodles which apparently is really high in fat I did not realize that um when I was not feeling well and had you know sickness and stuff it it made me feel better so I was like well I don't know what this is maybe that's why Maybe that's why I'm having gallbladder issues because I ate a ton of ramen while I was feeling sick because that's what we had. <laughs> you know, we do have like vegetable soups in there too, right? Did we have that while I was sick? Yeah. I don't remember it. I 
I don't know. I couldn't barely think. I was so tired. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so I didn't know what to eat this weekend, so I tried to make the best choices, but I still don't have much of an appetite. Um, I can't eat a whole lot. I feel full. And I have lots of indigestion. So, I go tomorrow, because my doctor is actually leaving the clinic <coughs> that I go to, and so I have to change to a different doctor. So, I had to get some random doctor that was available tomorrow. So, I have no idea what he's going to say. And then I set up an appointment for the doctor she recommended for September, I think, is when he is available. So, I don't know. Healthcare when you're over 40. I just don't go to the doctor. As soon as I go to the doctor, that's when gonna, they're going to tell me that there's something wrong with me. There's well, nothing wrong with me until they tell me something's wrong. <laughs> right. You could ignore it away. That'll help. I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, um, I'm sure you couldn't... Uh, ignore your gallbladder when you had your gall gallbladder issues. Yeah, that was back then. Yeah, I know. You already got yours out. So. Yep. I don't have to worry about mine anymore. No, you won't. Um, so, that's what's going on with me. Another health issue. Imagine that. I feel like every time I start to get over one health issue, I have another. I don't like this. I'm starting to feel a bit old. I'm still older. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. So, did we decide if we were doing the gumbo tomorrow or are we doing the taco? I mean, if you're going to cook the taco, then I can get to work earlier on the I just don't know thing. if I can because of the work situation and the doctor and how long is it going to take and... I might not even be home to start dinner. <coughs> well, then we can do the gumbo. Okay. Or whatever. I I'll don't put know. The, I'll put the gumbo on um, the... Or maybe I can ask Colin just to cook the rice. I'll put the gumbo in the Instapot, put it on delay when I leave, and then he can check it see if it's warm enough. Or you you can check it when you get home. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what to do, you can text me and I'll tell you what to do. Because I know you don't know how to operate the Insta pot. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come up with a message saying burn. <laughs> <coughs> but I put nothing but liquid in you. Burn. <laughs> oh man damn you instapot mm. burning water you just have to learn how to use it that's all and I know you have no desire so there's that it's like a microwave it's not real cooking okay sure <laughs> if that's what you want you've eaten everything I've cooking cooking in that you've eaten <coughs> everything I've cooking in it uh huh yeah just don't worry about me. Just remember who I am and get off my lawn. <laughs> okay, old man. So, yeah, that's like we're trying to figure out our week because we spent two days having fun. So our normal days of planning and preparation were spent all having fun. And then we came home for Father's Day on Sunday mm -hmm. and kind of sat around and didn't do much. We did some. I don't even remember what we did. Laundry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Laundry. I tried to do it all. Didn't work. I don't remember what happened. I got distracted and forgot about it. Mm -hmm. And I finished it. Because ADD. N and because that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> you could have been like, hey, honey, can you go check on that laundry? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, forgot about it. Yes, I'm going to go check on it. But no, he just gets up, 
he goes to the laundry room and he changes laundry over and he folds clothes and all that kind of stuff without me even noticing and I'm like fine just do it <laughs> I'm just good about doing things in the background you are you <laughs> quietly leave and then I don't notice you're gone and then I'm like wait where did he go? I bet you he went to go do this, that, or the other. Yep, he did. <laughs> what else do we have going on this week? Do we have anything else? Mm, super secret stuff, but we can't really uh. discuss the super secret stuff because the super secret, <sighs> secret stuff is even getting more complex than we thought the super secret stuff ever could get. Um, Jonathan's birthday is next week. Yeah, and I know it's Monday. And seven days to today. I forgot Lewis was. Oh, I'm supposed to pay for him to go to driver's ed, which oh man, uh, I'm gonna have to wait until July to go take him to get his tip card because in Louisiana you have to have a temporary instructor's permit to be able to take driver's ed before I even sign him up. And I can't take any time off between now and the end of the month just because of everything that's going on at work. So, I am going to have to take him probably the first full week of July. I don't think I'm going to try and fit that in on the first or the second. So, there's actually something I did want to talk to you about with Super Secret. And I'm hoping this will be quick because we're at 41 minutes. So, I'm kind of to the point where I'm done with Super Secret. And I, I just don't know if I can handle the stress of going through the issues that it's having to make it come to pass. Like I said before, it's got their time limit. Well, if it doesn't happen by the time limit, then we call it done. We're pulling the plug, no matter what. If they can't get it done by the time limit. I, it's not worth our headaches Okay. at this point in time. So, on that thread, because we have <coughs> finances set aside for super secret, and I'm throwing this out at him without even discussing this prior to the podcast, so... You're going to get a raw and unscripted response. Or maybe none, like he usually gives me. But. <laughs> but when put on the spot, I go silent. Yep. He has to. And it's not that he's ignoring me. It's because he likes to think things through and make a educated response and make sure that he's factored in all factors and I'm the kind of person that just responds what's the first thing on the head and that's just it just so it's like if he doesn't give me an answer I'll usually go did you give me an answer to that because I don't remember <laughs> and I'll say no, no I did not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done <laughs> so throwing out ideas if perchance for maybe for us to mull over if the finances that we've collected for super secret are not used for super secret I was wondering if we would use them for the leveling of the house put it towards that I feel that we would be better suited taking what we had towards super secret mm -hmm. and continuing to build it towards super secret for future that's my gut on it I just have a feeling there's some structural issues and I'm concerned that the structural issues cannot be fixed without leveling the house but I'm not a contractor so I guess I don't know these things but that is my gut feeling if this is not going to be our forever house we don't want to spend that kind I of money. really don't want to dump that much money into it okay I mean that's understandable 
I think that may be all we have for today because we're tired and we had a long weekend of fun, mm -hmm. which is not typical. We usually have a long weekend of working and doing stuff around the house, so <laughs> it we're was nice to have a little break from that. We're getting interrupted trying to get stuff around the house or having something else happen that we can't get the other stuff around the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. So, I think we're done. I'm done. Are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm done. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you listening to our podcast. And, hey, we have a new thing going on. We have added a Patreon. I will put a link in the description. And if you enjoy this podcast, we would love for you to join our Patreon community. If you're able, um, I understand not everybody is able and we, we, no pressure. If you're able to support us in our podcast, we would appreciate it. It would help us to offset some costs of the equipment and time that it takes to put this together. And we do hope that our podcast is helpful to you. So with that, until the next episode, you'll join us where we'll, we'll figure, figure it out. out. Or we won't. But we might. So you have to come back. And even if this podcast isn't helpful to you, at least hopefully it's entertaining. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get a good laugh out of it. <laughs> like, those people are completely clueless. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. You're right. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. But did we die? <laughs> not yet. Okay. So we're not that bad off. <laughs> no.